डायमेंशन दैट इज इलास्टिक कोलूजन ठीक है ठीक है इलास्टिक मींस जिसमें लीनियर मोमेंटम और काइनेटिक एनर्जी कंजर्व रहती है ठीक ये अब वन डायमेंशन नहीं है जिसमें एक कॉर्डिनेट चेंज होता है ये प्लेन में जिसमें दो कॉर्डिनेट चेंज होते हैं जैसे आप कैरम बोर्ड खेलते हो उसमें जो मूवमेंट होती है वो एक्स वाई प्लेन में होती है या नॉर्मली जो गाड़ियां टकराती है ठीक वो भी ऑल टू डायमेंशनल होता है ठीक बात समझ में आई वही हमें करना है तो इसमें एनालिसिस करनी है तो लेट एस सपोज दैट वी हैव अ बॉडी वन ए हैविंग मास एम वन मूविंग इन एक्स डायरेक्शन विद द वेलोसिटी यू वन वी हैव एनदर बॉडी हैविंग मास एम टू लेट एस ए दिस इज बॉडी बी इट्स वेलोसिटी यू बट इट इज एट रेस्ट सो दैट इट्स वेलोसिटी इज जीरो नाउ दे कोलाइड सिर्फ यू वन इज्यूमिंग दैट यू वन इज ग्रेटर देन यू टू सो दे विल कोलाइड एंड आफ्टर कोल्यूजन दैट इज एट दिस पॉइंट दे कोलाइड दे मूव बॉल नंबर वन मूव इन दिस डायरेक्शन एंड बॉल टू दैट इज बी मूव इन दिस डायरेक्शन ओके विद वेलोसिटी बी वन एंड वेलोसिटी बी टू Now, since this is inclined, we can resolve these velocities as these are vectors into two rectangular components. So we will draw axes. This is our y-axis, and this is our x-axis. Okay. Now, assuming that this body, body A, which moves in this direction, okay, makes an angle theta with the horizontal. while as this body after uh, collision makes an angle phi with horizontal axis okay or x axis now see this this velocity is a vector can be resolved into two components one b1 cos theta this is theta because these are corresponding angles and another along y direction v1 sin theta here this is also a vector and is inclined therefore we can resolve to two that angle comes one along this direction that is v1 since this angle is this angle phi so this component will be v1 cos of phi and this component will be v uh, not v2 cos of phi and v2 sin of now since this collision is elastic therefore the initial momentum that is the left side of this axis a2 must be equal to the final uh, linear momentum so we write p initial of these must be equal to p final because linear momentum is conserved momentum before collision must be equal to momentum after collision now since <laughs> on the left side these are moving in along x direction so they will have only x components so we can write uh, uh, so we can write one p initial along x direction must be equal to momentum final along x direction yani x direction mein jo pehla momentum hai is side mein wo hi hona chahiye x direction mein on the right side after collision because the um, this uh, linear momentum is conserved what is a uh, momentum along uh, momentum of the body one initial momentum it is its mass m1 and its velocity okay what is momentum of this since it is at rest so its momentum is zero okay now after the collision the momentum along the uh, x direction for uh, this ball a is v1 cos theta and for ball 2 it is uh, we will write plus y because they are parallel to each other so they add up so v2 cos of phi or we can write it as m1 u1 is equal to v1 cos of theta 
plus v2 cos of this is our equation number one. Similarly, the momentum, uh, momentum, initial momentum along x y direction, p i y, must be equal to momentum along final momentum along y direction. ठीक? Now, is there any momentum along uh, uh, x uh, y direction? I am asking question. Is there any momentum along y direction? Initial. Arun. Arun. Hello. Arun. 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 